Our guest today says race is not about skin color, but is instead a construct, and one that hasn't always existed. She digs deep into the roots of white identity in her book, The History of White People. Leading historian and author, Nell Irvin Painter. I'm Maria Hinojosa. This is One on One. And so you want our audience to, like, how, again, because most people aren't historians and walking mm -hmm. around with this kind of mm -hmm. baggage of knowing. Mm -hmm. So when they're out on the street, when they're in a, what do you want them to ask themselves? Well, when they're out on the street, I want them to ask themselves, how can I love my neighbor? <laughs> how <laughs> can nice we be one. together? <laughs> but how can we all get along? Together, yes. And what I would like them to do is not start by classifying people. This person is this, and that person is that, and this person is this. Because race, fundamentally, is a way of dividing people of creating difference, even when it's used in the best possible ways to create pride, not against others. It's still a way of saying, I am this, meaning you are and that. And that is so controversial because you know so many institutions, um, our civil rights institutions, mm -hmm. are based on the yes. fact that you know you have the yes. NAACP. Yes, yes. Um, and so and that's why I say as long as racial discrimination is a fact, we will have race, for better or worse. But that doesn't mean that you can't understand that race is a concept. You can do both things. Do you feel like this conversation of understanding race as a concept for our country, beyond the work that you've done, do you feel it's kind of out there in the American lexicon? Depends on who you ask. So if you ask people in the academy, it's a commonplace. But if you ask people on the street, they probably believe that race is something in there, biological, permanent, and separates people. So the idea of race, what the core of the idea of race is that it's biological and it's permanent.